Race number four is the first leg of the triple trio. It's all speed as well. Thousand meter dash here, class four contest. Dr. Ace, a course and distance winner, two starts back. Ocean Raw can roll from barrier 11. Junzi, a last start, course and distance winner. Speedy King, first starter. Rich City Fortune will get going from barrier four. Sparkling Talents on a hat trick. Peace from, or pace from peace combination. And also from Lyric Ace as well. Dylan Moe taking seven pounds off. So we've come across the touch screen to have a look at this one, uh, Brett, because they. There's loads of speed here. Uh, Rich City Fortune, I thought, was an interesting one because he shows pace, but he's dropping back now to the 1,000 metres, so he might have to hand up. Yeah, potentially so, Andrew. Um, there is a lot of pace in the race. We've got the old nine-year-old Ocean Roar, who was a little slow to get moving last start, but he rarely misses the jump. He's going to try and cross over. He's drawn out wide in barrier number 11, and Lyric Ace here is drawn in 12. So there's every chance that those two will have to scurry a fair bit to get across in front of horses like... Peace combination here, who should hold a prominent spot. The newcomer in the race, Speedy King, had three trials, one at the Valley. He's looked very forward. He's also looked well-named. He's got a lot of pace. Don't know whether or not he can test sort of these other two or whether they want to, but he can sit right in behind and get a lovely run in transit. So I think potentially the pace is good, as we can see, but if you've got horses like Ocean Roar and also Lyric Ace really having to scurry to get over to the rail, that could make it good to fast. All right, there you go. One first starter here, Paul, as well. It's an interesting race. Yeah, and Speedy King being the first starter. We haven't got some track work for him, but we'll have a look here with Dr Race, who has uh, settled... He, he's getting up in the weights now, this horse, and he's only a little horse. So that's uh, a couple of things against him. But he, he, he moves nicely enough, and this is his uh, piece of work here. You can see the horse is moving well in this particular contest. Now, we'll show a couple from Lyric Ace as well, because he's, he's moved stables. He's been with um, Manfred Mann here for a little while, and he, he's had two decent gallops as well. This is the, the first of the two, um, back on the 17th of October. And here's the one with Dylan Moe aboard, and that was on the 21st of October. Now, Dylan Moe will take them out on race day. I think the horse is going all right, but I don't know if he's going to get the race run to suit. He, he sort of needs to lead by himself, I think. Yeah, that's the query, isn't it? Yeah. Whether he can cross Ocean Roar, um, it's hard to know. You'd probably think not on the, you know, the, mm, yeah. the scores on the board. Um, if Ocean Roar steps, he'd be hard to pass. He did miss it, didn't he? A step, he did. uh, just mm. a beat last time out. That would play to his favour. Last start winner in here, though, is uh, Junzi. And... Well, there's a few in behind him as well. Nobody boy, Dr. Race, and as we talked about, Ocean Raw. Yeah, well, Ocean Raw um, got overhauled here. And Junzi, look at his form. He's won two. They've both been first up. So there's a question mark there over whether or not he can back it up. But he's going to get the pace I think he wants. Dr. Race is a horse that performs well this course and distance. He's going to get the speed he needs. Noble Du Bois ran well here. And obviously, um, you know, it's an interesting one for Junzi because Neil Callan rode him there. He also rode him when he won. But he's sticking with this new horse that he's done all the work with. Yeah, Speedy King. The thing with Junzi, too, he's only his little horse and he's getting up in the weights as well. Yeah. I snuck him on on a fourth line just to be safe. Yeah, I'm going to play him safe because I think it was a good win. But yeah. um, it's, it's, I don't think it's coincidental that the, the wins have come fresh. All yeah. right, and the turnaround at the weights. Nobody Boy, six pounds. Dr. Race, nine. And Ocean Raw gets a seven pound pull as well. But Neil Callan was on board for that. As Brett said, he'll be on Speedy King on Wednesday night. Neil, Speedy King, you've trialled him three times and he's raised eyebrows at the trials. People have taken notice in this horse. Do you get a good feeling? Yeah, he's quite a nice horse. Uh, he's got a good temperament, very quiet mind. You know, he soaks everything up quite well and, uh, you know, he's, he, each of his trials have been quite progressive. Um, he's always been quite professional and natural, you know, showing natural speed, but uh, I think each trial, uh, he's, he's become more mentally strong. So um, I think now is the right time to run him, obviously. Um, it uh, looks a good race for him, and uh, he, like I say, he, he, he's trialled on Happy Valley before, and I think the form of that trial is quite nice uh, with uh, Dennis Shipshoff winning. So, yeah, he, look, he, he's got a good gait, which is most important in these sort of races, especially for a horse first time out. So, but even still, things can go wrong. But um, look, if if he behaves himself and does everything right, like he does in the trials, I think he'll run a good race. He does look as if he's got good gait speed, C plus three. It looks as if, fingers crossed, he might get a good run in this one. Yeah, like I say, he's he's very professional. He's got a lot of natural speed, and uh, you know, but uh, he's coming to the races first time. Um, anything can happen, but he is a horse I like going forward.
Yeah, he's obviously shown a fair bit, but it's, it's against some old timers here, another way around the valley. Yeah, that's true. But he's the young up and comer, isn't he, with the fresher legs? So there's two ways of looking at it. I um, I ended up going with him. I'm not overly confident, but I do think he can win it. Yeah, I think he can sit in behind that pace, that speed map that you saw, and it's going to be quite a fast pace. He can sit in just behind it. He's 11, 14 horse, uh, 1114 pounds horse. Mm. So he, he's got there's plenty of them. Yep. All right. One more to have a look at. Uh, this is Don't Miss, who's been off the scene since April. He's first up. This is how he's been trialling. Yeah, I didn't mind this trial here. Doug. He's put on 36 pounds. He's had a couple of gallops since here, since this one, that haven't been too bad as well. Look, I'm going to make him my long shot. Now, he gave him two cracks of the whip there, but the horse responded straight away. So I'm not too worried that they, they did that because he put it away straight away. I think he was just uh, sharpening his mind up. It's not a strong race. I haven't got him in the tips, but I'm not against him. Mm. Yeah, I think there were, were things from him in his first prep suggesting there was uh, some ability there too. All right, Sam Clippert and we're bored from Barrier 6. So he's in. Who are the other three numbers, Paul? Well, we're going to put Speedy King, this first starter, on top because I think he is a nice horse. Um, don't miss him there for second. Uh, Rich City Fortune, uh, he ran well at his last start. Uh, back to the 1,000 should be OK for him. And uh, Junzi in there for fourth was a good one last time. But I'll just be playing the QQPs around the top two, four and eight. Uh, Speedy King and Don't Miss, you should get a d decent dividend for that. First leg of the TT, I think there'll be quite a lot of uh, varying opinions here and that's why the market looks as open as it does. I'm going to go with the newcomer as well, Speedy King. It's not an overly strong race, but it is a thousand metre dash. So it'll be a race that he'll, he'll know he's in. Uh, Junzi, sparkling talent goes up in class. He's always struggled in this grade, but he'll get the same type of run that he did last start when he won. And of the pace horses, I think Lyric Ace crosses with Ocean Roar and probably gets the better of the old nine-year-old, and that'll leave him in front with maybe 100 to run. So he goes in. 349 QQP was the way I was going, but... Four, three, nine, twelve. The numbers. Mm. We shouldn't forget. I mean, Sparkling Talent's on a hat trick, isn't he? He's, I mean, potentially get posted wide. But yeah. The record's not really there in the class, but he's going to get the race run to suit with a lighter weight. Mm. All right. There you go. That's uh, race number four.